Going back to your kind of personal devotional life, do you have a favorite book in the Bible or a favorite verse and, and why uh, why would that be your favorite verse or your favorite book? So um, it's random. <laughs> <laughs> I really, when I read through the Bible um, a couple years ago, usually everyone gives up like when they hit Leviticus. <laughs> <laughs> but it became my favorite book. Wow. And it really hit me when I was reading that time um, how gracious and kind the Lord is um, that when people would sin, that the response was to come close to Him, that the bringing of the sacrifice was mm. an entering into His proximity and into His presence at the tabernacle. And I thought, you know, like how that's so applicable to how he wants us now. Like instead of sin can like make us want to run far away. Instead, like he's saying, no, like I want you in closer. I don't want to push you away mm -hmm. when those things happen. Like I want you, I want to draw you in close. And um, I just think that was really kind of him to even establish that from the beginning. Wow. Well, I think, ladies and gentlemen, we found the first person in the world who says that Leviticus, Leviticus is their favorite book. But that, that's that's a great that's a great uh, reason why you like it, though, because yeah. it, it, I mean, it really it displays God's goodness, God's grace, God's um, forgiveness, and His patience with His children. Because, like you said, when when we sin, we do want to kind of separate from God, but He tells us to come close. And you, in First John one nine, confess your sins; He is faithful and just to forgive you. So. It really is an amazing God that we serve, and and when people talk about how the God in the Old Testament is mean and ain't angry all the time, and I mean he does he he does he is jealous for his own holiness. He is he does want to establish what is right in the world, but a lot of times in the Old Testament he's very forgiving, very um, loving towards people who can constantly rebel against him, and he still his hands are extended out towards them to receive them. So I'm glad you brought I'm glad you brought that up. That's that's a, a great testament to to God's grace even in your own life.